Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 3 Deluxe Post Game. We finished Olimar's assignment. We're gonna go back to Olimar's comeback. We're gonna start day four. It's our first actual attempt at recovering a ship part, which I feel would have been more fun if all of them were like this. But um, yeah, instead we got three nothing burger levels and now we actually have the fourth one, which is kind of interesting. So let's see if we can get Louie and throw him up here. Nope, that is not happening. Great. So we will head up here and collect the Pikmin. So this ship part is one that we're going to be moving from where we are to an area a little bit further away. So you're just going to want to be mindful of that. It's going to take 15 of your Pikmin over time. Yes, very, uh, very knowledgeable Captain Olimar. That's the knows that the big 20 sphere from the distant tundra that was where uh, we pushed that through the snow opened up the cave for the fast bat very fun all right i'm still never going to get used to charging pikmin at the wrong time so we're basically just going to be trying to kind of clear the way taking this part with us as time goes on and killing everything else in the process, right? So that's fun. So, you know, just kind of do your, do your thing. Kill the enemies that are around you, as you do. You get squished. You do not need to get squished. Oh, you're fine, baby. Relax. So just throw all your Pikmin at it. It's not going to be able to withstand your might. Come on, guys, get him. Yes. Yes. Got him. Yeah. So there's a lot of distractions in this level. We'll say we'll say there's a lot of distractions. One of the things that's kind of annoying. One of the things that you also have to do, there are two bridges that you will be building. And you'll need to build a blue bridge and a tan bridge. So it's very tempting to get distracted and not pay attention. You're gonna want to go after the two sets of blue bridge parts. And then I think that there's only one set of um, tan bridge parts. So just do your best. I know that I'm using blue Pikmin to attack a fire blue hog, but they'll be okay here in a moment. We will just whistle them to safety. I think it's kind of interesting that that's enough. Like keep them safe. You know, like they're on fire. They're on fire. And a whistle is enough to bring them back to, you know, back down to Earth. It makes you think, like, it's kind of curious. Like, you know, was stop, drop, and roll wrong? Was it actually, like, whistle until you're not on fire anymore? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe we're teaching kids the wrong things. That's disingenuous. We should stop teaching kids the wrong things. So we'll break down that wall here in a moment. I'm actually going to leave the reds with Louie because I want to go and continue to ferry the ship part around. I'm actually going to want some blues because the ship part is um, is going to be tough to get without the blues. So instead, we'll have the reds and whatever this blue is. They can start working on the on the bridge pieces. We'll have all of our go with the blues. This is where things start to get a little challenging. Like I actually respect the challenge of this. Cause it's like, it's a good challenging. It's not like, oh, you didn't get this completed because of like some crappy technicality. Like it's actually decently challenging, which I think is good. So I'll have the blues bring this around. Our yellows have successfully knocked down the electric wall. We'll kill these amp rats real quick. And you have to be careful. Just because the yellows are able to avoid electric shock. It doesn't mean that they can't be eaten by the ant rats, which is really annoying. So when they get their gross, nasty, ugly faces at you. Sorry, ant rats. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but oh, you're gross. Oh, watch out, blues. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is horrible. It's almost dead. Don't you eat my pigment. Stop it. All right, get out of there. All right, we'll use a combo of blues and yellows. No, don't, no, no, no. 
I'm off for revenge, but now is not the time. Alright, so we're feeling very primary colored. It's very good for us. We actually need to go and continue to pick the rest of those bridge pieces up, which we actually have a full squad to be able to do that. I don't know exactly where these are going to be taken, so be mindful of where our Pikmin are going. Hopefully they'll just go right back up the, the chute here. Alright, we have exactly 30 Pikmin, which is very nice. And we can reconvene with Louie. The Reds are almost done building their part of the bridge, which is very handy. You have to multitask a bit in this one, which, you know, if you weren't aware, that's kind of the one of the tricky parts, is like you would never really know that. You have to build both sides of the bridge in order to get the piece that you need. So it sounds like the other bridge is built and complete. I don't know where the bridge, or where the uh, piece is, but we'll find that in a moment. We will send our Pikmin joyously to collect these bridge pieces as they try to go in the in the chute. That's not where they need to be. And these guys are being ding-dongs because they're misdirected. I've given them perfect directions. Thank you. All right, so that should be just enough. Okay, so I believe these guys are doing swell. We need to find where the part is. I don't know where I left it. Okay, here we go. It's both bridges complete. Now I do believe that upcoming, there is going to be a spot where in order to get it through to the other, uh, whatever that is, in order to get it through, we need to tear down an electric gate. Which I believe, looks like this is a sand gate. And that is an electric gate. So we'll go down this way. The engine part used to be a luxury item. I think it's referring to the actual, um, you know, what, what the engine is made out of. Okay. Joust Might's gonna hide like a little jerk. Come out. Nope. We want your bum. Show us your bum. Show us your bottom. Show us that sweet, juicy behind. We're gonna get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. All right, boys, let's go. Keep going. No. Don't stop it. You are trying to impede progress. And I will not allow that. We are as progressive as can be. Don't you do it. Where are my reds at? Where are red? No, 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 no. We don't have time for this. Guys, we're on a mission. We're ballers. Don't you do that. Don't. Don't you do it. I hate these water walls. They're so annoying. Stop it. Stop trying to crush my Pikmin. Alright. Wallywogs, you're getting my last nerves. No, don't throw it at the bridge part. Or at the engine part. I can't even talk. I'm so frustrated that I can't even talk. Wallywogs, you are the bane of my existence. Stop killing my Pikmins. Oh my goodness, I hate these things so much. Send the blues after him primarily. They don't want the yellows to drown. There's one yellow in the vicinity. I'm just trying to make progress and they're being jerks. Why are they yellow? Oh, we're so close. Come on, get them. Stop squishing my, my guys. Just quit. Just quit while you're ahead. Okay. So that was horrible. Um, I guess we'll use reds to carry this because we don't have enough of anything else. Got an amp rat here. Send the yellows. Let it do its gross, weird charging attack. Stop it. That's how I feel right now. I'm just... I'm all out of patience. Yes. All right, everybody else, we're doing okay. No, 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 no. We're so close. Come on. We're gonna make it. All right. Feel, feeling good-ish. We gotta come back real quick. Okay, so this is really uncool. Come back. Yeah, it's like there's just so much crap in here that's just trying to get you. Get his gross behind. Get his gross, nasty, and disgusting behind. Yeah. And we have these stupid sheer grubs. 
No, 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 no. No, and it's so hard to, to pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah, let's just, yeah, come on. I know that we're losing Pikmin, we'll be fine. It's these stupid sheer grubs that keep coming out of the ground and trying to get my Pikmin. Just the little ones. Like, the female ones don't do anything, but these male ones are jerks. I hate them. No, guys, come on. Come on. You're fine. No, 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 no. I just need to make sure I have enough yellows to break this gate down. I have five. This is going to take forever. Hopefully not two minutes and whatever seconds. Oh, don't you do it. Oh, don't now. I have even less yellows. Come on. I don't know if I can propagate some yellows real quick. I don't even know where the yellow onion is. I feel like I don't really have time for it. Where's the yellow onion? Oh, it's forever away. There's no way. I just have to hope these yellows can do it. Because everything else would just die in the process. Oh my gosh. Can they make it? Well, in the process, let's get this shit part as close as we can. As we try to waddle through the corpses of everything else on our way. Alright, this is a race against the clock. A race for mediocrity. Can we do it? Are we feeling confident, channel? Are we feeling confident? Get that out of the way. I mean, they're, they're already almost like... We're just gonna have to really make a break for it. There's stuff in the way as well. I don't know if it's like the ship part is getting stuck? We're just kind of spinning it in circles. Come on, yellows, I believe in you. I think they're just waiting for them to knock the wall down. They're being so patient. Come on, yellows, you can do this. It's your time to shine. All right. So all that's left is for our reds to sneak the ship part in there and be on our way. Okay. That's victory, everybody. With 30 seconds to spare. That's, that was actually pretty challenging. I, I will I will be completely honest. Okay. So we only lost a ton of Pikmin. That was great. Ooh, okay. So, stage four done. We got one of the parts, but the going won't be easy from here. Louie and I are thinking of splitting up to find a way through the next region. I worry about him going off in his own. Maybe there's a way to keep him, keep an eye on him from a distance. We'll work that, I suppose. Or else, Captain Alma. Captain Omar, a very dominant. Okay. I see how it is. I'm smelling what you're stepping in, Captain Olimar. Alright. So, day five. While tracking down the signal from another part, I somehow got separated from Louis. I found him before too long, but he was on the other side of a body of water. Rather than risk a crossing, we decided to split up and look for somewhere that we can meet up. Keep an eye out for indigenous... Yeah, he keeps seeing indigenous creatures. I don't remember him ever saying that in Pikmin 1 and 2, but then again, it's been eons. Okay, so we're doing a team monster hunt. That sounds horrible. That must mean that we're going to have to do the same nonsense as we were doing before. So instead of trying to get... Yep. Instead of trying to get... Um, no, 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 no. Instead of trying to get a, a ship part... We're going to have to deal with these non nonsense goobers. Alright, so go ahead and... Oh, this guy's not dead. Get him, guys. Yeah. Murder is fun when it's just a cartoon. Does that count, right? Maybe? Alright. So we can't goo. Can't goo. I don't like goo. You guys know how I feel about goo. We can't uh, do much here. It appears. So we might need Olimar's help. Throw the yellow Pikmin. Cross. Can we go through here? No. Okay. So we will go the other way. We will kill Bulborbs because it's oh so fun. Yeah, I do like. Somebody mentioned this. I do like the nice touch that. Um, That in, in the Wii U Pikmin, it um, it would show you what the name of the enemy was that you were going to be 
attacking. Like, it would say Dwarf Gold Board. But for some reason, they decided to get rid of that. In this version, which is sad, because I feel like that aesthetic is really awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Do a little trade a Olimar will take the Rock Pikmin. Louie will gladly acquire more yellows. Looks like this is going to be kind of our little swap spot. I don't know... What else we need? We need to get some winged Pikmin, that's for sure. Okay, so here's Wally Wobs, which I hate a lot. But thankfully, they cannot attack us. And do damage, because we have Rock Pikmin. Which is great. I love Rock Pikmin. That's right. So it just looks like the goal of this mission is just to take out as many of the enemies as possible. You don't have to do anything with attacking the enemies, you just have to literally attack them. So we'll talk, attack the Onion Booty Crab, where he can eat our Pikmin. We're gonna move. Very careful. Break its stupid claw. And attack it en masse. Yeah, so it's a great amount of damage. Awesome. How's that feel, sucker? Okay. I don't know if there's anything else we can do over this area. We're gonna need Louie to help us get the winged Pikmin, which we need to get going for the gate. Okay. So we've knocked down the yellow electric fence. We're doing super awesome. Actually, I don't really know how well we're doing, to be 100% honest, because I've never played this before enough yellows to do the job. Is this 10, 10 pinks? Yes. So we have a gate here that we need to lift up. Well, all of our needs to lift up. I don't think Louie has any business doing that. Okay. So we will do another swap here. We'll throw the, the 10 winged Pikmin, which all of our will... Oh, nope. Stay there, Louie. I think, thankfully, I think that that ledge actually is, like, coded to not move like that, so. Alright, there are ten of you. Let's go. Let's go! Okay. So we have Rock Pikmin, which are very adept at fighting. We gotta kill two of these Amp Rats. Come on, guys, come on. Back, 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 back. Oh, he's coming to rocks. Oh, these things are so creepy. So creepy. This one, I think, was almost dead. Yes, he's dead. Yeah, I think that this is literally just a... Oof. No, run, guys. Run. I think that's all that this is. No, don't, not... Come on. Yeah, I think that this mission entirely is just meant to be... I think it said, like, monster hunt. That's all that this is. As well as... I don't know what's going on here. I've never seen this before. What do we take? Oh, like little, oh. I think we've sort of seen this before. They're kind of, um, they create like a ramp, I think, maybe? I don't know if there's anything else more this way. There's, a, there's the puppy blowhog on this way, this guy. I don't know if there's more Pikmin we could grab to help make this easy. Ooh, we need the Wing Pikmin. We can't quite open that yet. Also need Rock Pikmin. So in the meantime, we will attack the Puppy Blowhog. Doesn't look like we're doing any damage to it, though. Oh, we're doing minimal amount of damage. Come on, Puppy Blowhog. You blow! See how, you see how, see how I did there, guys? It's pretty good, right? Yeah, I just need to... I would like him to... Let us attack him. Yes. Attack him. Get him good. Once you throw enough Pikmin onto the Puppy Blowhog, as you remember from earlier in the series, it will knock him down. And he's going to try to blow you. We have no time for that. Oh, okay. So he's being very rude to us right now. Stop it. Quit. Sir or madam. Okay. You are being very belligerent. I do not have time for you. Being more difficult to finish off than I would like. Oh, you're almost there, guys. Come on. There's a sliver of health left. Yes. Okay. 
So I don't even think we really need to kill every enemy. I think we already have the the bronze medal of murder. So we got that going for us. All right. And then we're building some sort of a ramp. Figured we'd be done by now. Looks like we are. Okay. I don't know if this is enough to reunite us yet. Or where this even takes us. Okay, looks like this is a little connecting portion. The onion booty crab is very dead. Okay. So let's see if we can convene with Louie. I don't know if this is enough yet or if this just gives us a bit of a loop. If that's the case, we will... I don't think we can... Yeah, I don't think we can meet up with him yet. He's over this way. I don't think we can traverse any areas. So instead, we'll just throw the rock Pikmin over here. And I think he needs winged Pikmin as well. So we'll just give him a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Okay. And then we will have him meet up at this spot so he can collect everything he needs. I do believe we're doing okay. I think we've already hit the, the bronze goal marker. So we should be fine in terms of mission progress. I believe I saw a little crystal the rocks could take advantage of. I saw another wing gate, which is weird that we have to lift a wing gate to get to more winged Pikmin, but not making the rules here, folks. I'm just trying to follow them, which is, you know, at DMIC Industries, we sometimes encourage thinking outside the box. So we've got more wing picking here that we can pluck. We're getting very close to the end of the line here. Okay, so using our wing pikmin to acquire more of them. Let's go. And our rock pikmin. Very good. It'd be nice if we could find some bomb rocks. Those seem to be pretty effective. Oh, oh not one of these guys. Oh, geez. Oh, I walked right into it. Oh, I lost a bunch of Pikmin. Awesome. Thankfully, Rock Pikmin are immune to this. So we will... Just have everybody go after this jerk. Ooh, and there's some spicy spray. Take that. Okay. Let's use the spicy spray to super... Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Let's use the spicy spray to supercharge everybody. Have our Rock Pikmin break down this guy's candy coating. Get him, guys. What are you doing? He's not gonna get himself giddy. Yeah, there you go. Break that stupid shell. Yes. Yes, come on. No reason to try to butt stomp you. We don't want that. No butt stompings. Alright, everybody, get him. Nope. I don't need you to get bomb rocks. I mean, I do, I think, but... Okay. Everybody is just kind of doing their own thing right now, it appears. Okay, so it appears everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. Everybody that has a bomb rock, follow me. We've got other things in mind of what to do. Okay. So we have a minute, a little bit over a minute left. Okay, so we're doing excellent. I don't know what's left to murder. Some of our pink pick one got stuck in the ground. I believe that getting all 15 Moitas is required for 100%ing this, but I don't really have any motivation to do that. I don't know what's inside this cave, but there's one of these stupid whip tongue bull boards. I'll let him come to me. I have a treat for him. I have one very delicious treat. Yes. Come here. Come to me. Yes. Ah, got he. <laughs> How's that feel, bud? I blew you up. And now you're dead. Uh -uh. Pretty casual about that. Come on. Yes. Let's go. 
Let's go, everybody. Attack. Attack on Max. Yes. And we can go up this sack and see what's back here. I don't think we have time to kill whatever's left, but we just might. Going in this grate, I don't know what's... Oh, okay. Well, see, this is kind of big, like, this is a lot. Like, this is a lot to do. Okay, well, it was just the gross lip bull war. I actually would have enjoyed killing that because of how disgusting it is, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I would have preferred more of, like, the make a path and move the part thing, because this is just kind of like, eh, we've already done this, like, four or five times. Yeah. In the future, if I finish a stage early, I'm just gonna probably end the day once I hit, like, a certain ranking, like, at least, like, a silver. Our splitting up strategy worked better than I had anticipated. Sharing Pikmin freely back and forth was all the proof we needed to show how much we've grown into a fully functioning team. I underestimated Louis, I admit. I shouldn't have doubted his commitment to the mission. And this is so weird hearing them say this, because like they went through the entirety of Pikmin 2 together. So like, where is this coming from? This is supposed to be after they've gone, you know, in... in uh. So they've, you know, been a team for a while, so it's like very strange that this is like coming up now. It almost feels like they're trying to like pretend that Pikmin 2 didn't happen. I remember this place, but something feels off about it. Oh, it's because the water is gone. New creatures seem to have wandered in, exploring the boundaries of their territory. But I can't th let them deter me from the bounty of fruits and nuggets here. The reward of so much treasure is more than worth the risk. Some of these enemies are being a bunch of butt nuggets, I tell you that. Channel gone dry. All right. So you can defeat all the enemies or collect all the treasure to get that sweet, sweet platinum medal. I will tell you in advance right now that that is not something I'm going to, either of the things I'm going to be doing today. So I don't care. And you might be saying, D-Mike, that's so harsh. And you're right. But we are a baller on a budget and time is money. So, you know, okay. I'm not confident that 10 Pikmin is enough to... Oh, this looks like this is part of the Twilight River. So they were referring to that. It appears the Twilight River has all but dra dried up. I don't know exactly what caused that. It's kind of interesting that... I like, I like the idea of this. I like the idea of them exploring old terrain in new ways. Like, they could have done a lot with this. Like, had Olimar and uh and louis come back here as a way to kind of reuse the same locations but in like kind of new eventful ways i, I like the idea of that but they didn't do that instead they give us this so you know it is what it is i think it'd be really fun to kill this big bull board right here because i'm feeling a little mischievous oh and you are dead. Bye. Ooh, there's a fruit inside of it. Wouldn't that be, like, I feel like that would encourage people to murder more. If, like, every time you killed somebody, fruit popped out. That's not good. Here at D-Mike Industries, we do not advocate for that. Stop killing people. For their juicy fruit centers. Ooh, there's a lot of bomb rocks over there. Do this. I think this is really funny. Like, they try to come for you. They're like, oh, man, I'm so mad. And I'm dead. To pers persimmons, persimmons. Yes, I like bomb rocks. They are underused by me because I'm a ding dong. All right, so let's go back to the onion after we kill this whip tongue billboard. He's a little more active. Ooh, yeah, he's coming hot. Got you. I got a little prize for you. Oh, you want this? How about you eat that? Oh, dead. How's that feel? I believe we can carry cherries with one Pikmin. That is convenient. And we need to actually use some of these Pikmin to carry in the the bigger enemies to propagate. There's some rocks over there that we could use as well. So what we really need to do is, it said collect nuggets or fruit. So we're after fruit. We will use some of the Pikmin to propagate 
but the reality is we need to focus on fruit. We at least want to get that bronze metal so we can move on to the final four missions. And for the sake of time, I'm going to, like I said, um, I'm probably going to be cutting those ones a little bit shorter. So once we get like a decent, you know, accomplishment of progress, then we'll stop. As much as I would love to go and do all of this, I don't unfortunately have as much time. I underestimated how long these would take when I was doing things initially. So... Okay. You remember this guy? This weird jellyfish thing was the... was the one that... Oh. Okay. I don't know if it's going to turn into anything or if it's just going to be an obstruction. It's kind of annoying. See if I can blow it up out of the way. Oh! Well, that was like a cool chain reaction. I didn't know that was going to happen. Neat. Alright. So we got a combo of reds and rocks to carry this persimmon. Very good. And there were a bunch of bridge pieces along the way. But we have a ton of reds now. Should probably be enough to get the job done. I'm not entirely sure how many fruit slash nugget treasures you have to have to win the level. And, you know, quote unquote, win. Like, en enough that I'm satisfied with. A satisfactory amount of winning. Take those pieces. And we will take this whip tongue bull board. And we'll take it back and turn its body into fun. Okay. So far, so good. You can see the bronze metal there creeping up on the right side. That's what we're after at least. That's the, the least you have to do if you want to get yourself a new level, which we do, sort of. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily loving all this, but it could be worse. Here I am being critical of video games, which, you know, I never do. I'm never critical of anything. Okay, so let's wander up here. Oh, some fiery blowhogs. Our red Pikmin should have no trouble dispatching those guys, as per usual. I thought I saw something spit out of it, that could be wrong. Alright, let's see if our rocks can help out. Okay, so no fruit from those guys. Rude. We have these guys again. Very easy to kill once you got rock Pikmin. I remember they actually killed one of my rock Pikmin when I wasn't paying attention last time. Nope, 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 stop. Oh, come on. Do I have a bomb rock? I do not. I would like a bomb rock, though. I want to blow these guys up. There's probably more fruit to be had. At the very least, we need to be focusing on building this bridge. I don't really have enough Pikmin to do that in the current state that I'm in. So we will reconvene with a lot of reds. No, I did not say stop. Yeah, I'm trying not to get these episodes to last super long. I know that these post-game content ones, I'm trying to put a bow on it, wrap it up for what's coming in the future. No spoilers, please. Okay, so we'll cross the trunk to the other side. We have the joust mites that can fly, which are really annoying. So we will throw our reds onto them post-haste. See if we can take it down. It gets energy as it flies, so that's the one thing that you want to make sure you can take it out quickly. I'll throw a lot of my reds up here. Get rid of this guy. He's having a little snack, that's rude. Okay. You want your reds to attack this guy? I love how fast reds can just wear down an enemy. They're very effective. Very good fighters. Rock Pikmin have a little bit more utility, but the reds are just more fun to use. Or maybe it's the other way around. I think the- I don't know. I mean, they're both pretty fun. 
All right. So we'll get some delicious chicken nuggets. Take those back and see how much those are worth. This is where we just were. Whips on board, being an absolute menace. Try to collect these reds and see if we can use them to sneak out of this little crevasse. That's okay. Sorry, reds. They turn into a snack. All right, we can carry the rest of these nuggets back. Okay, so we at least hit bronze. Very nice. I don't know if you can just end the day in the middle of this. Can you do that? Restart day to day selection. No. Okay, so at the very least you have to run the clock out. It'd be nice if you could just kind of, you know, be done. I guess I'll try my best for the remaining five minutes I have up here. This is going to be another longer episode. These just take so long. That's why I'm like afraid that I'm going to wind up with the final episode being like 50 minutes long. I already have a, another one of those that's just like that. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these longer episodes. The next series, I'm going to do my best to be mindful of that and not have everything get a little out of control. Okay. So I believe that that's, yeah, today's selection to... I feel like that will end the challenge. I will check that off screen and see what that means. In the meantime, we'll kill this Reptum Bulborb. The cherry inside of it. Not the cherry on top, but the cherry inside. Okay. So we'll take that. Let's try to make some progress, I suppose. That Rock Pikmin can take that cherry back. Have a nice little ice cream sundae. Which I wish I could, but my body says no, especially on the bottom. I will not tolerate lactose, and you cannot make me. Okay, so our Pikmin are just going to clip through that fiery blow hook, and uh, yeah. So you, like I said, in these missions to unlock the next one, all you have to do is get at least a bronze, which, you know, we're going to do, because we're epic. That's what bronze means, actually. It means uh, it's the most epic of medals you can get. So we're doing pretty great. And we won. I don't know. Maybe bronze is mean you won. I don't know. Maybe it does. Can you just end the mission after you win? No. Something on the other side of the bridge? Okay. Good instincts, Captain Olimar. This is the bridge we took to actually fight the... Scornet Maestro. Oh! Okay, this is... Oh, this is danger. Can we use the dodge... Can we use the dodge whistle? Yeah, sort of. And we will charge Louie. Oh, it turns around. I didn't know it would do that. Okay. So we will use... A rock Pikmin here. Along with a red. Carry the strawberry. No, guys... All right, just because you want to and because I'm feeling generous. That is not what I intended for you to do. I, th I said three. Oh, there's just the one that says hang out. And now he gets his act together. I knew it. It looks like they've roped off the... Uh... So the Scorn of Maestro's lair is no more. It's been blocked off. Who put those there, though? Like, how did that happen? Because there's not supposed to be anything left that exists on PNF 404. Oh, you guys are losing your... Why are you losing your nuggets? What is happening? It's like a time limit for nuggets? Because, I mean, nuggets are timeless. In my opinion. Are they just getting stuck? I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what's happening! That's okay. It might honestly just be faster to try to like 100% these areas than to let the clock run out. But it's whatever you manage to accomplish, I suppose. I don't know if I can get back up there in time to grab the rest of the nuggets. 
or if I'm missing any of the fruit, I don't know. The fruit seem to be stuck inside our enemies. I mean, we're pretty close to that platinum metal. How many nuggets are left? I said 50 before. 40? Jeez. Okay. Don't mind me. I do really like the sound effect of the Pikmin taking the nuggets, though. I really like that. It's a really cute little sound. They have to, like, bonk their heads against it. Alright, do we have three Pikmin coming back to... I mean, it's a pretty good trek for them. Not that this matters. I mean, whether I run out the clock the next 40 seconds or I capture the remaining nuggets, it does not matter to me. I am fine either way. We're so close. I think that that's the, that's the difference maker is the... The three nuggets, yeah, that's it. We're not gonna make it though because our Pikmin decided not to come back. They're like, nah. Oh, here they are. Oh, hey guys, a little late, wouldn't you say? You're supposed to help the boss of Hokotate Freight have his sixth vacation. I want to throw Louie at it for for funsies. Okay, well that's that. Seeing those fruits we retrieved reminded me of those copite explorers and all the trouble they went through to save their home world. Realizing half were gone, reminded me I hadn't heard from Louis in a while. I asked if he knew anything about it, and his response was to drop everything and run away. He's a handful, but he's my partner, it's my duty to bring him back. All of us. Okay, everybody, that was pretty good. That was six missions done, we've got four left. And on the next episode, we will apparently be looking for Louie. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This is Pikmin 3 Deluxe post-game content, and I'll see you next time. Bye.